It ain't the men no more. The women gone bad. The women's gone bad. It ain't the men's now. It's the women done gone bad. You gonna flip the script on us? Yeah, it's the women done gone bad. You a woman yourself. I'm a woman myself, but I don't do half the things I see these women do now. They don't care no more. Because that's mean the men don't respect them. That's why. Let me tell you something, Amber. You got to give a man respect to get respect. Boy, I tell you, I sure miss my big mamas. You can always count on them to give you the unfiltered truth, whether you like it or not. And these women are dearly missed. And I feel sorry for all these young people that didn't have this in their life, that didn't have true big mamas, you know, true grandmothers that knew what it was to raise a family, that knew what respect is, that knew what being a true matriarch is, you know? Like if you look at my grandfather, my grandfather didn't speak a lot. He was more, you know, results driven, like this is the problem, let's solve it. I don't wanna talk about it no more. Let me go watch football. But whenever I wanted to go talk to my grandmother, or whenever I wanted to like some in-depth conversation, I would go talk to her and she would give me that nurturing knowledge. But see, a lot of families now, a lot of women now, they don't have this. Instead, they have women that are 50, 60 years old, giving them bad advice, telling them it's okay to act a fool, be out of order, show their body parts off. Because a lot of these women that are that age, they're out there trying to get it too. They're out there in competition with all these younger women too. And I find it very interesting that Amber, she says, well, how can you say that, Grandma? You're a woman too. This is something that you ladies, you need to stop doing. Just because a woman is saying something, that doesn't mean that she's telling you the right thing. It doesn't mean that she has your best interests at heart. A lot of times, she's in competition with you. So, if, I mean, just like when you were a kid, and I'm sure you all learned this, right? You don't follow people that are telling you to do stuff, right? Like if somebody tells you to go jump off a cliff, you're not gonna jump off because you know that you could die, right? You know that it's the wrong thing. But why is it today we live in a society where women just seem to, you know, just latch on to bad behavior and just, you know, do the same bad stuff over and over like a, a pack. Women follow advice from women all the time. It's like women live under this umbrella of, of being a woman and every woman is right. All this bad behavior, this ba behavior is right. Everything is excused. You can just act any kind of way you want to be. And the thing is, is that a lot of women are just completely out of control. They don't know which way they're going. They don't know if they should go left. They don't know if they should go right. They don't know if they should go up. They don't know if they should go back. They're just out of control. And a lot of this is because they don't have a lot of big mamas. There's not a lot of big mamas left. These ladies are gone. The true matriarchs are gone. These women that stayed in their feminine frame, most of them are gone. You know, I used to ask my grandmother, because when I was growing up, you know, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. And there was certain things that my grandfather did that used to piss me off as a child, but I couldn't defend my grandmother because I was a little kid. But later on in life, I asked her before she passed away, I said, why did you stay and deal with all this stuff that she, that she dealt with? And she told me, because you was the most important thing, you and your father. This family was the most important thing. I was never gonna lower myself to what he was doing to get, get back. I was never gonna lower myself to do what he was doing to be even because that's not my job and you know what happened after that she told me that my grandfather would come to her and say you know what I was wrong you was right um, I shouldn't have treated you like that you make me not want to act like this no way because or, 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 or anymore because what happens is when a man truly loves a woman he might do something bad to her but it's gonna burn him up as long as that woman stays in her frame and she doesn't change who she is, he's gonna come back and say, you know what, I was wrong. I shouldn't have treated you like that. But if when it starts going tit for tat, then there's gonna be a problem. So what she told me was always just stay in your frame of who you are, man as a, or a woman. If you're a man, be a man. If you're a woman, be a woman. Stay true to who you are because it's not gonna do anybody any good to try to, for a woman to try to act masculine it's not going to do any good for a man to try to act feminine. It just doesn't work. It goes against everything that our biological nature says. And the more and more people keep fighting that, the more and more problems that they're going to have. And again, I show sure miss my big mama, my big mamas. I miss calling them for advice. I miss, miss talking to them. I miss hearing their voices. I miss that. 
And, you know, I just wish that you young people, I wish that you had that. But unfortunately, you don't. But one thing you do have is access to a lot of information, right? So the best thing that you can do is make sound decisions and stop being followers. Because a lot of times, people will just tell you things because they're jealous of you. They want your spot. They want what you have. They're miserable and they want you to be their company. So please, ladies, stop following women just because they tell you something and just because they're women that it must be true because a lot of times it's not. A lot of times they're giving you bad advice. And quite frankly, if all of this stuff that you hear from all these women works, why isn't the world different? Why isn't the nuclear family still a thing? Why do we have so many problems? Why is there so many people not even having children? Why is there so many people not getting uh, married? And for the people that are married, why is there so many divorces? If all of this stuff that you hear from a lot of these women is so true, then why isn't it working? You have to ask yourself that. You have to look at what the reality is. If it was working and it was viable for you to walk around and act like men and to try to take on the man role, wouldn't it be working? Wouldn't the results show that? The results don't show that because it doesn't work. So until you learn to have individual thought and you're not so swayed by women in videos telling you to do bad things, you know, until you change that, until you change that mindset, until you start thinking independently, you're going to keep having problems because the bottom line is that the majority of these women do not have your best interests at heart. The majority of women are in competition with you. And the sooner you can realize that, the better. Look up some more videos with the big mamas. Go talk to older women that are in, in nursing homes. Whatever you have to do, get that real knowledge. Because what y'all doing out there in these streets is not working. What these women did worked. And the last thing I will say in this video, because you know, a lot of women see big mamas like this as being oppressed and slaves and all of this. But think about this, ladies. Think about this really hard. If it wasn't for these big mamas and it wasn't for the past, you would not exist. I'll say that again. If it wasn't for these big mamas and it wasn't for the past and that family unit that you had, you wouldn't even be here. Neither would I. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.